In the world of football, there are some mysteries we just don't know the answer to. And then there are some mysteries that we do know the answer to. And in this video, we are going to talk about three of those uh, said mysteries. So we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about exactly why Taylor Decker was out of last week's game and what that means for this upcoming week. There's a mystery solved and a mystery still to be determined. We're going to talk about the mystery of a trap game and the mystery of how in the world is our defense still playing so good even without Aiden Hutchinson, and we have an answer on that one too. So let's just kind of talk about that. But before we get into that, here's my question for you. Do you believe that a trap game is a real thing? Do you believe it's a real thing? We've seen a lot of games with the Lions where we hoped we were the team doing the trapping, right? We've seen that a ton um, in the past. Now we're the team that we worry about trap games. So do you believe in a trap game? And number two, hit in the comments. Do you believe this game against the Jaguars is a trap game? I personally do not think that it's a trap game. I think if there is a trap game for the Lions, it comes the week after against the Indianapolis Colts. Like I really do. And so let's talk about all that. But first, I want to hit, we're going to get into the Decker injury. We're going to get into the trap game. But first, I want to talk about why in the world our defense has been so good. And PFF on Twitter came out with a stat where they talked about the best defenses at keeping teams out of the end zone. In other words, lowest touchdown drive percentage allowed. And the number five team in the NFL, and there's no surprise here, these are five of the best defenses in the NFL scoring-wise, duh, right, Are is the Detroit Lions at number five. They keep teams out of the end zone. Are there games where teams seem to be driving up and down the field? I like to say in between the 20s on us. Sure. Has that happened more since Hutchinson left? Yes. All right. Do we get a ton of turnovers? Yep. But the other thing that's so big is we just simply keep teams out of the end zone. Maybe it's holding them to a field goal. Maybe it's creating a turnover. I don't know, but we keep teams out of the the end zone, only 15.8% of the time do they score a touchdown. That is the mystery solved. We keep them out of the end zone. And I know that sounds simple, but these are the stats that year to year can have such large variance. Some teams just got it figured out. Other teams just don't. Uh, it's same with interceptions. It's like, what is it that causes it? Sometimes the ball just bounces the right way. Sometimes it's just a team. And they have something going on that is really special. All right, let's move on to the next one, and then we'll get into the trap game stuff. Jared Goff said some really good stuff about that, and I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's a trap game against the Jaguars. But first, let's talk about what happened to Taylor Decker. Taylor Decker revealed that it happened in practice. He said, yep, rotator cuff stuff. That's kind of scary. Torn rotator cuff, that's not great. He said, and then I have, I've had shoulder, shoulder surgery on this shoulder before with the labrum, all right? I, I've done a rotator cuff thing here. I got a labrum in the hip. Like, the things just don't get right. I haven't had surgery on them. He said he just irritated the labrum a little bit. He said in the week prior, I had a pec strain on the same side. I know the play that it happened, but uh, that caused it. But I don't know if it was maybe a compensation thing or whatnot. Hopefully, it's not too long term. He was willing to talk about it. He said that he hopes to play. Um, Dan Campbell said, as of right now, I do feel better about having Decker this week. Um, he said this uh, Wednesday. All right, so by the time you're seeing this video, yesterday. And uh, I'm recording it as yesterday. So <laughs> I mean, I'm recording it right before I put it out. So anyways... He said he was there at walkthrough going through practice. I feel like he is questionable, but I'm starting to feel like I think he's going to be able to make it into the game. Tomorrow will tell a lot, certainly. That'll be a full speed practice for us. So that's when they're going to make the decision tomorrow, I think. I think the team will know, maybe not everybody else, will know about Decker because are we going to move Sewell to the left? Are we just going to let Skip play at left tackle? Um, that didn't go extremely well. Uh, he had actually, you know, it seemed to the naked eye that he did pretty well because he was going against a phenomenal player all game. Um, but, uh, in Daniel Hunter, by the way, against the Texans, but when you look at his numbers on PFF and his pressure rate, it was not good. It was not good at all. Uh, Decker also, by the way, ta takes full blame for himself. 
Um, he was upset about it, and here's what he had to say. And then we'll go golf on the trap game. He said, whenever you have to pull back the reins and sit one out, I felt personally responsible for the first half of that game. I'm not saying that joke jokingly. I really felt bad, even though I knew it wasn't it was in my best interest and the team's best interest to sit one out. When you're not out there with your guys, especially when it's guys you've played with as much as I've played with some of these guys on offense, it's a guilty feeling. It really is. So as soon as you can get back out there, that's one thing that's going to drive you to want to be back out there when you don't get to play. Here's what I say. It was clear that there was a little bit of an injury before this week when he's actually missing something because, man, he had a, a two or three bad weeks. And he admitted that he had a little pec strain and stuff like that, and maybe that was part of it. Taylor, get healthy. Get healthy. I think we can get the Jags without you, maybe, all right? But um, get healthy. But, again, you see how important a left tackle is, and that's why we extended him. And hopefully it's just these injuries and not the fact that he's just getting Really, really tired is what the problem is, all right? So Jared Goff was asked about the trap game and the possibility of it. These are the kind of things that athletes have to talk about, and they don't like talking about it. I'll give you what he said, and then I'll give you what my thoughts are on it. Um, and here's what he said. He goes, yeah, we've got a mature group. There's not much that needs to be said, Goff told reporters on Wednesday. We have our own standards that regardless of who we're playing, regardless of what their record is, we have our own things that we want to improve and improve on. And I think that's the biggest battle right now is to continue to improve. And we need to improve even though we're able to win some of these close games. He also went on to say, obviously, last week wasn't as explosive as we wanted to be. Um, Goff said as part of a longer answer. So, yeah, getting back on track, I think he's absolutely right. And it starts this week for us. So, Here's the thing about Jared Goff. He's a professional. Like, that's what he is. That's what he is going to be. The interesting thing about this is that Goff wasn't good last week. He came through when we needed him to. He came through when we needed him to. But when we're talking about a trap game, that means that a trap game to me has a couple of things. A really good opponent on the horizon. All right? We don't have that. Oh, the, the, hey, it's back. All right? The thumbs up is back. We, we could get that in another video. All right? Um... We've got we got the Colts next week. It's not like we're looking past the Jags to the Colts or even to the Bears on Thanksgiving. So I'm not worried about that. I think the other side of this is um, usually it's you're riding high and things are going well and maybe you've had an easy opponent. I don't know what that looks like on the front end of it. We just played the Texans. And yes, it was a hard fought game. So that is a trap game setup. But we did not play well offensively at all. Like, you can't argue we did. Five turnovers. Like, it was sloppy. It was ugly. So this offense is going to go out there wanting to prove that they belong. This defense is going to want to show what they can do with Zadarius Smith in the fold. Uh, I don't think any part of this speaks trap game at all. So that's just kind of my thought. I think we take care of business against the Jags. They don't have a starting quarterback. Um, maybe it's not as easy as some people think it'll be, and it's not a 21 to 28 point victory, but, um, maybe 10 points, something like that. But I think we take care of business. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.